How's it going, Dazzlers? Welcome back to Daz Games. First of all, before we get into this new series, guys, uh, sorry, there's been a uh, videos far and few between this week. I've been working and filming on a, a feature film, actually, that's being shot in quarantine. Very interesting stuff. Can't say more than that. And there's a lack of other games right now, so I thought we'd start a new series, a game uh, that I missed the boat on, but a lot of you still ask me to play. And that game is Man of Madam. Apparently, it is um, in the same universe as Until Dawn. You guys saw my full playthrough of that. Uh, it was an amazing game, a cinematic experience where choices mean everything. This is very similar, um, and yeah, we're just going to play through this game and see how it goes. Let's begin. <laughs> we on a boat? Alrighty, Buster. We better mosey on back to the ship. <laughs> Whoa. Stop the presses. What? Looks like old Charlie Charming's got a little business to attend to. She's out of your league. Can I fight? Hey, give me a quarter. Why? I'm gonna find out my future. Oh, damn. Let's have it. What's in store for me, Pop? Oh, okay. Um, how do I do this? Uh, I guess I just want to know about my son. Will he, uh... Is he gonna grow up alright? Things gonna work out for him? Well, let me guess, he's gonna die. Dragon tile. Go for the bamboo, I think it's safer. Pick up objects used to examine. Okay. Oh, I see a fish. Yeah. That's all I got out of that. Need a typhoon. Couldn't Oh god. Death. Wait, what? What does that mean? Hey, what does that mean? What the hell, man? Hey, bud. Let me get a go at it. Oh yeah? Think you got the stuff? Yes, I can! Let me another quarter. Gonna start a tab. I'll give it a whirl. All right. Okay. Oh. <clears throat> Punch. Yeah. All right. I'm getting this. Was oh, this level two difficulty? <clears throat> See. Got the time in the world. Circle. All right. Cool. Square. <laughs> Yep. Yep. I'm a natural. Well, champ. I can fight. I'm doing this really well. Oh, 
maybe I'm doing it a bit late. But whoa! There you go, see? Ducked under. Missed it. Have a nice day. Yeah, you too. You strange woman. Hey, Chuck, we better get back to the ship. We don't want to get stranded. Come on, man. Just let me ask another question. We really need to get back. So my traits update. Oh, okay. Insecure, selfless, reckless. Oh. Oh, what am I looking at? Oh, huh. there's a fly in here. <laughs> okay. Well, there we go. A little bit cocky, I'd say. We're loading it with bodies and stuff after World War II. And I'm guessing we're about to uh, load a curse onto the ship or something. And then later in modern day we find it. That sort of story. That's pretty cool. I don't think there's been a game like on a ghost ship before like this. Oh dear, what's in the box? There's many of them. I guess they're dead soldiers, right? Or something? Hey man! Hey, where's my... Where's my 50 cents? 50 cents? What 50 cents? Come on, man! Hey! Buzz off! Nobody pushes me around. Oh! In my medical opinion, these men appear to be drunk off their rear ends. Get this one to the medical room. Throw the other in the brig. And keep him there. All that over 50 cents? Ahoy, me mateys! Alright, we're at sea now. Ooh, a bit of water. Ooh. Oh, it's a kind of Frankenstein situation. So it's some sort of toxin or... shirt be any tighter. Alright. Oh. Right. oh. I'm gonna walk around, okay. Please say there's not a picture of me. Two pups. Come back soon. Alright. Picture of a little boy. I hope it's my little boy, otherwise that makes me a super nonce. Okay, let's have a look around. X. We got here. Ah! What the hell? Oh, I must have been out of it whilst this was happening. What happened to him? Get the key. Let's have a look at him, shall we? Yeah, he's dead. Alright. We, <laughs> we've established that he's dead. I messed up. Alright, uh, can I go through here? Is there like a, any way I can go? No, okay. Oh, no, don't want to do that. 
Don't want to see that I'm an idiot. Okay, let's go. Oh, they padlocked the door. That's when you know. Okay, let's go. Oh, God, please don't let there be anything. Well, it's like the old school Resident Evil games. I love this. Graphically, it's beautiful, isn't it? PS4 exclusive, man. All right, now we're in a cutscene. Howdy, Charlie. How's your time off? Just get me out of here already. What the hell's going on up there? I heard aircraft and gunfire. Me too. And there was a... a corpse. What? In the sick bay. Something's wrong. Let's get out of here. All right, let's go. Add that me first. I'm the leader in this expedition. Thank you. Okay. Ah! Press X to time with the heartbeat. Okay. Ooh, I don't know how to do this. Oh crap. Oh crap. I take it if we didn't do that, he would have turned around and shot us. Yeah, let's just go that way where he went, you know, with all the gunfire and death. What the hell? Just get out of my way. Get out of my way, mate. Oh. <laughs> all right, little boy! What was that? That was a kid. Don't follow him. Do you not watch horror films? Can't get through there, that's locked. Alright, let's go this way. Maybe we can find a less tightly fitting shirt. Hey, Charlie, help! Get a gun. Need to get a gun. Alright, well, we'll see you later. I've got to check if he's alive. No. Mind you, we did have a massive bullet hole from him, so. That's probably got a no no. Dead. Another stick? Who's the Oh, damn it. Buckley. Last time I saw him in the mess hall, he was fit as a fiddle. Poor yep. fucker. Now he's watched the ring tape. That's what happens. Oh, wait, don't leave me. What's the matter with you? All these camera angles, man. Not a fan. It's very cinematic. Like, it is like a movie in some regards. To walk faster. Yep, yep, I'll do that. I don't walk that much faster when I do it, but you know, I'll take it. I would like a sprint button. So, uh, oh. Is it just me? Or are you getting a real strange feeling right now? Do I look like a guy who likes to talk about his feelings? <laughs> you look like a mess on wheels, Chuck. Ah! Hey, Chuck? You see that kid over there? Uh no? You feeling alright? It's definitely a kid. I saw it. I'm gonna go chase him. Ooh, dead people. Charlie, get over here. Oh man, they're messed up. Go, go, go. 
Oh yeah, now we're talking. Just let me kill something. I don't care if it's a kid, just shoot it. Hey, come here. <laughs> oh God, no. Charlie! <laughs> okay, time to start shooting children. Oh, God damn it. Just shoot it. No way. I'm dead. Oh, the anchors are down. Mayday! Mayday! Is anyone there? Hello! Can anyone out there hear me? Oh, come on! Come on, damn it! What the hell is that? Oh, Jesus. What? Jesus is here right now. Ow! Hello. Right? And welcome to my repository. All right, you weird old man. Ooh, it's going to be one of those books in it. I've always wanted one of those. Oh, I thought it was a bookcase that moves when you pull a book out. But it wasn't. It's fine. You're going to burn your nose off on that candle, my friend. There we go. I am the curator. The curator of stories. Stories of love and hate, greed and beauty, life and death. Stories such as this one. I'm here to record the story you choose to tell. You see, this tale is only part written, and the choices you make will complete it and determine whether the lives of those with whom you are interfering continue to flourish or whether they are snuffed out all right you see we each make decisions according to our own moral compass and we have to live with those decisions or die by them but you shouldn't fear death it is after all inevitable it is the tax one pays for having lived and it comes eventually to everybody still none of us want for it to come too soon do we As in life, the actions you take matter. The choices you make will affect others. All right. I'll be keeping a close eye on your progress. It's not my place to interfere, but I might be persuaded to offer the occasional hint 
Here's oh, one wow. for free. There are pictures in this world that can show you some possible futures. If you can find them and study them, they may just help you to make better decisions. Or should I say, decisions that result in the outcomes you would prefer. Oh, I don't want to know. I just want to That's do it. That's all for the moment. We'll talk again soon enough. We'll have the opportunity to account for all the actions that you've taken. Or whatever mess you've made. He looks like the T-1000 from Terminator 2, but an older version of him. Oh, nice Harry Potter poster. Oh, here we go. So, Mysterious Curse wipes out the crew of a World War II warship. And I guess we're going to go find it. <laughs> oh, we can just stay here. Look at this beach. Damn. All right, which characters am I going to start to favor? Which ones am I going to hate? Brad! Alex's brother. Witty, innocent. All right. Sort of a do-gooder type guy. But he's got beer, so that's all I care about. Man, I need to go on a fishing trip on a boat. I'd love that. Alex, Brad's brother. Julia's boyfriend, insecure, motivated. All right, so he's going to be a bit of a douche. Think we got enough? If we run out, we can always call for backup. So, uh, look. I've never been down there before. Down? The water. Diving. Or maybe you could show me how the pros do it. Are you serious? Uh... Yeah? I mean, are you serious you came out here without taking any lessons? Uh, kind of, yeah. Oh. Uh, I had to work. I wanted to. I just didn't I didn't have time, you know? I had to work all summer. Oh, uh, fair enough, fair enough. <laughs> Whoa, careful. That dive cam is, like, super expensive. Well, bro, be cool. What? Julia and Conrad are, you know, how do I say it? Super fucking loaded? So? So don't sweat the little stuff, man. It's not cool. Don't make me regret letting you tag along. I was invited. Uh, tag along? Seriously? I thought I was invited. Stand up Julia to wanted you to come along. For real? Julia? Yeah, man. She wanted you to come. And I wanted her to see how cool you are, which you're not. So be cool. Capiche? I'm gonna throw you over. Alright, amigo. Calvary's almost here. Cool. Sorry I'm a little snappy. I'm just... Your new medical school would be stressful, you know? Total shocker. And man, the long distance thing with Julia, it's been rough. Uh, I'm gonna say nothing to that one. Because you've had my feelings and I don't want to talk to you. Mm -hmm. Huh? <laughs> yep. Right on cue. What? Conrad doesn't think we have enough beer. Ah. I guess I keep these in an undisclosed location. Yeah. We don't have enough beer. You've got two little pissy crates. Relationship update. Oh, anxious, nervous, eager. Okay. Hey. So, uh, can I get your input on something? Put him in the yeah, fridge, what? bro. Just, uh, kind of a big thing I'm trying to make a decision about. About finishing med school? No, but it's just kind of a big life choice, you know? I don't know what's the right thing to do. Ooh, give it some thought. Just go with your gut, bro. Go with your gut. If it's right, you'll know. All right, here come the other characters. Who we got? Hey. Oh, hey, Julia. Reckless, excited. And Wayne Rooney. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> right on, Radical. I like the cut of your ship. It's jib. Don't ruin it. You ever do any diving before? Um. Oh, all the time! <laughs> yeah. Totally. All the time. Nice. I was worried they're gonna stick me with a noob. Oh, uh, nope. Not noob. I can practically breathe underwater at this point. So you uh, dive a lot? A couple, three times, you know, here and there, family trips. Oh, here we go. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Where's the old crust bucket skipper anyhow? Oh damn. Fliss, impatient. Captain the Drew. Courageous. Oh, she's gonna be the hard ass. I like her already! 
I'd invite you to make yourselves at home, but, uh... Yeah, we did. So is everybody on board and ready to go? I am, Fliss. If you're coming along, then I'm happy. Jesus! You just gonna leave your car on the beach? What if the tide comes up? I like Fliss, but I'm sorry. Oh yeah, let's get some fishing done. <coughs> yep, he's been sick. If I hadn't have had that drink, he probably wouldn't have That's been sick. It. Get it all out. Uh, yeah. <coughs> You uh, want to go lie down? Yeah. With you? Yeah. Uh, yeah. You sure. You know, maybe I should. <laughs> yeah. Oh boy. See those hot pits. What about over here? That's pretty far out of the way. I'm just thinking about backup targets in case we don't find anything on the dive cam. Listen, to be honest, I've never heard of this wreck you're looking for. Usually, these things are crawling with divers. Yeah. This one's different. I'm just saying, if it gets too late, I know some nice places where you can just take, you know, a nice dive. Um, frustrated! Brad was so sure it would be here. But yeah, I mean, what are the odds we're really gonna find a needle in a haystack? I'm gonna go help Conrad and Julia with the camera. What you got? Oh, we got a fancy iPad. Feast your eyes on this. It's a plane. Brad's calculations were right on the money. Always bet on Brad. Yeah, kid's a whiz. We should thank him. Fliss, we found a plane. Yeah? Yeah, looks like World War II. We are ready to dive. Uh, technically, we should call this in to port authorities as an unreported wreck. Well, technically. Are you sure you don't want to do this the right way? Um... Who cares? Just be a Look, dick. For all anyone knows, we were just diving and then found it. So who cares? The right way. Come on, what is this, kindergarten? I had to bring it up. If we just go down and take a look, who's gonna know? Fine. As long as you're quick. And don't touch anything. Oh, if I find a gold bar, I'm I taking just it. just can't wait to be the first one down there. Can you imagine? Untouched? Does Fliss not like the boat? We should be ready to get you guys in the water in a few. I'll set up the tanks. The boys will do the final checks. Take a look at the camera. See if you can find anything useful. Righto. Hey, maybe you should check on your bro? Yeah. Stop being a dick. Oh, I'm him. Oh, dude! Flexing on the boat! <laughs> Duke of the Mullen, that's me! <laughs> Alright, I got some, uh... Some shit. I don't think it might be a way in. Ooh. There's a boy! Okay. Little floaty float. Nothing there. No mermaids. No babes. <laughs> Alright. Nothing there. Nothing creepy. Alright, I'm gonna go. Uh, yeah, you do the tanks hey, uh, hey, before hey. I kick you hey, off the hey. ship. Um, you carry on doing that, you st stupid. Um, I'm gonna go talk to Fliss, cause god damn. Okay, Fliss, hey, what's up? I just turned it off. Do you off. know how to use that? Uh, no. Not really. You might wanna just let it do its thing. Fliss, I swear to god. Alright, I'm gonna go see my bro. Bro! Where you at? Come on, we found a wreck. We're diving. Don't make me whoop your ass. You in here? How you doing? Sorry, that brewski got the better of me. I'll be sympathetic. Hey, all part of the adventure. Sorry for putting a damper on things. No worries, dude. Took more than that just to screw up the trip. Just get some rest. Come back when you're feeling better. I'm not sure if I want to make him a dick or not. Alright. Oh, what's this? Wait, wait. Oh, I missed it. It's just a picture. It doesn't matter. Yo, Fliss, we're ready to go or what? <laughs> what's this? 
Oh, it's her ID. How old is she? Okay. All right, I know a little bit more about her. I'm being a creep. All right, we ready to go. I didn't get dressed up for nothing. There's a little gap in the tail. Take a look. Okay. Um, we're ready to go now, cause hey. like. Hey, back. Man, we All got right. some good stuff on the camera. Yeah, you did. Hi. You know, we have rules out here for a reason. You guys gotta respect that. Um, polite would be polite. Uh, yeah, sorry about before. Everybody's just a little... We've been planning this whole thing for a while now. I get it. But there are rules, and laws, and customs. These rules are all pretty basic stuff. How much experience do you have with these kind of dives? Um, get annoyed at Enough. That's not an amount. Enough to know the rules. I don't think you do. For all you know, this could be a war grave. Disturbing it would be illegal and immoral. Fine. I get it. How much? How much what? How much money will it take for you to stop breathing down her neck? Thanks already. You. <laughs> Thanks a lot. This is not about the money. You know what? I can't stop you. Just respect the rules down there. Don't do anything stupid that'll get my ass in trouble. Yeah, but no one's gonna know, though, are they? I mean, like, come on, let's all just... Let's just all calm down a bit. Okay, so this is the rebreather. Way cooler than a regular scuba setup. It takes all that CO2 that you'd normally just exhale into the water, and instead, it gets totally reused. Then it reduces decompression time on your way up. State of the art. Okay. Sounds like what we need. Check done. Whoa, 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 Eager Beaver. You gotta check your O2 first. Uh, playful. Looking good, Jay. I'd like to take you underwater. Hey, that's my sis you're talking about. You know it. Okay, you little clown fishes. I'm gonna go see what Fliss is up to. You behave, Connie. He likes Fliss. You can tell. Looking for a first mate captain. Ooh. Um I'm gonna take the camera. Because I wanna take camera. some selfies. I'll take the wheels. Let's get it before photo. Soon it'll be you and me. When we were alive. We'll caption that. Alright, kids. Good to go. Just remember the rules, please. You and your rules. I got the bank stick. Yeah, I heard that about you. Ha ha. You ever have to use one? On a shark? Nope. Oh damn, there better not be sharks down there. Oh, we going diving! Man, we look like badass. Okay, back on the boat. There's beers on there anyway. She is so tight. She acts like we're going to ransack the plane. Hey, a souvenir would be cool. It's not like one tiny little thing would hurt anybody. I won't tell if you won't. <laughs> not like they can scan the wreck every night at sundown. There. That sheep. That's gotta be it. Whoa. That is, like, way bigger than I thought. <laughs> Damn. Talk about the plane, or...? It's pretty intact, too. This is a fucking remarkable find. Let's swim around a little and find a way in. Yeah, let's do that. Dips on the gold. Howdy, Captain. You fancy a pint with your second in command? You are not my second in command. Third in command. No. Fresh in your cabin, boy. Still a no. Your well-paying, dashingly handsome, seafaring client requesting the pleasure of your company over a frosty amber liquid. 
Pretty smooth. Just relax. Sure. Why not? Yep. Oh, Pretty good. nice ride you got here. Where'd you get the cash? Self-assured. You know it's not polite to ask a lady about her money. Fair enough. I was just thinking about buying a boat myself, and I thought maybe you'd like to point me in the right direction. Hmm. It would be my singular pleasure to help you part with your money. Oh. Uh, you know what? I better spend some time keeping the Duke of Milan ship shape. Aye, aye. All right, let's uh, walk around. See what we're doing. I'm not gonna talk to you because you're just gonna try and hit on me. Uh, can I do this? Look on the pad, maybe. Is there anything on here? Can wow. I see them? That is not your everyday wreck. I hope those clowns don't get me in trouble. Nah, they're gonna be fine. Put it down. Just let's just, just, just put it down. There's nothing on there. Okay. Damn. Well, what's this? Duke to Alex. Duke to Julia. Yeah, they're dead. That's fine. Yeah, should we talk to him again? Give him another chance. Oh, what are you doing? Hey there. How's it hanging? Relax. You look like you're taking full advantage of your relaxation time. I'm a man of many talents. It's too bad charm is not among them. Ah, but ah. charm is like a boomerang. You think it's gone right over your head until smack. You're out cold. That makes no sense. You need to mind the speed limit, Buster. Hey, I like life in the slow lane, too. Nice and slow. I'll see you later, Conrad. I hope so. He's making it very obvious, isn't he? Let's go check on the uh, sick duckling. Oh, trophy. Like that. I, feel, I really feel like she needs to lighten up. She is very kind of unlikable. Like at this point, if she died, I wouldn't care. How's it going? Knocked out by cold frosty. Man, I feel like such a wimp. Sympathetic. Hey, it's your vacation. You're allowed to overdo it. I am officially starting a temperance club. Party of one. Lifetime membership. Hope the lovebirds are having the time of their lives down there. Uh, probing. What do you know about this wreck? Just rumors and theories. I got tired of the speculation and wanted to see if there was actually anything there. Impressed. What got you into World War II? Just stuff I read about in school. Then I found out my grandpa was in the Navy. Got lots of medals. I wanted to understand what he'd been through. Got me hooked. You can actually use all those old World War II stories to help them find the sites? Yeah. You know, when they started wreck diving, I realized I could be a pretty good resource. I knew a lot about where, where planes would go, shipping routes. You make a lot of connections. Alex and Julia have done a lot of dives, but I gotta say, finding this plane takes the cake. Huh. Gotta get back up top. Check you later. The animation is pretty cool, like the way that they dock and everything, like it's pretty, pretty sick. Oh shit. What's that about? That is not the Coast Guard. So we're not under arrest. How should we handle this? Um... This feels... off. Just be quiet and don't say anything stupid, okay? Oh damn, who are they? Pirates? What do you think you're doing? How were they? Hey, we got damage here. You see this? Look at our boat. We can take care of this, man. It's not a problem. What do you think? Like, uh, 10 bucks cover it? Oh, whoops, my bad. Let's make it 20. Well, shoot, you, you think it's more like 30? I can do 30. 
All right, you guys drive a hard bargain, but I'm with you. Here, let's just throw in the whole pot. Oh dear. Do not anger the pirate with one eye. Please don't let him come to life. Oh, okay. He's not going to come to life. Conrad said one of the pictures showed an opening. Conrad, really? Really. On the rear turret. Huh. Good on you, Connie. The turret. We can get in through there. I'd love to do this for real. It must be so cool. Careful the spiky bits. Oh, be careful. Could be dangerous. God, I just missed that as well. Ladies first. Alright, we're in. Can I just take a second to say, holy shit, Alex, we did it. I mean, can you believe it? It's a dream come true. Oh. <laughs> Let's not waste any time. Oh. oh, that must be one of those flashbacks things that are the future. So I'm feeling a little bit sick. Or something. Uh, that doesn't really give much away, though, does it? Julia, leave it. You'd have to take your gear off to get in there. Not worth it. That pipe's pretty tight. What if you get stuck without your rebreather? Maybe it is kind of dangerous. Yeah, don't do it. I can't bear that. Don't do it. <laughs> Bullet. Bullet holes, all down the fuselage. Brad's gonna flip when he sees this. Yep, and Fliss is not gonna like the fact that you've disrespected the grave. Ah, this is so cool! Imagine finding something like this. Uh, you hear that? Let's check it out. Don't open something if there's a sound. Oh dear. He has a gun. Ah, John! God, Jesus! I think I wet my wetsuit. Life gives you lemons. Ah, oh, stupid. Pilot and co-pilot, gotta be. Plane crash not high on my list of ways to perish. All right. Take Easy it. now. This stuff's been down here a long time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's always stupid Americans doing stuff they shouldn't do. Uh, oh, Julia! Oh my god! Just don't touch anything else, please! Yeah, that's the uh, cue to get out. Uh, good god. Uh. Oh, don't move the dead. He's holding something. Like a little picture. Wow. What the hell happened here? A little look at things. They knew they were goners. Well, you can't really tell that on a, you know, hundred year old corpse. 
Check it out. They reconfigured the bomb rack to hold lifeboats. Interesting. One of the rescue boats is missing. Think they were using it? Let's see what else we can find. I don't know about that way. We've been that way. going his way <laughs> but I'm not sure I think I meant to like find Fuck this it. thing I'm just gonna go for it oh oh god I hate this shit Oh, this is when I didn't have a breath. I don't know how they do it in the movies. Stupid down here? That's it. One chance. You get that? I know what I'm doing, okay? I don't need a lifeguard. Oh, search one clear, search two clear. Alright. They were on their way to help out a ship. Goes wrong. Just go up. Just go up. <gasps> okay. Even oh more God, signs to go up. It's a gray reef shark. Not interested in us. Let's go. Yeah, I would listen to you. Uh. Oh, okay. I thought this was the right time, but then. Didn't know if it was the right time, but I guess no time's the right time. I, I, I don't guess. Oh. Aww. I know you can't tell because we're underwater, but I'm on my knees right now. Uh huh. Julia, will you marry me? Oh shit, I have to decide. You're shitting me, right? What? <laughs> like there's a hidden camera down here or something? Uh. Okay, come out, guys. The gig is up. Julia, I'm serious. I'm shocked. Any Alex, time, man. I, I just... Oh, it's, it's bad timing, I, I know. It's terrible timing. I, I'm sorry. It, this is so no, stupid, no, stop. I'm sorry. Please, don't, don't apologize. I, I just need time to think about this. That's the like, more realistic option. You know, like when I'm not about to die at the bottom of the ocean? That's fair. I With, think that's the fair this choice. Is Julia. We're coming back up. Over. Hey, where'd that other boat come from? Hey, Wait, Julia. We gotta decompress here. Oh Whoa, shit! Damn. What the fuck? We gotta get up there. Wait, we have to decompress. Um. Do it, yeah. Yeah, okay. Decompress, right. Because of the image from earlier when she was like out of breath. It's taking too long. This is taking too long. This is torture. Just a few more seconds. Okay, now. Go, go. But how, what has that cost me? Hey, what the hell is going on? What the hell happened? It's cool, man. Everything's all right now. It's a fucking barbecue. There was a little uh, mishap with the barbecue. 
Jesus, looked like the whole boat was lit up. So, why are you paying the ocean? A group of fishermen came by and damaged their boat. But they got caught on the dive line. Oh, that's what happened. Yeah. So then uh, Ambassador Conrad figured the best move is to show him he'd rather throw away his money than give it to them. You're an asshole. Whatever. Who cares, right? What I want to know is, what'd you guys find? Well, we found the plane. And it is huge. Full of cool stuff. Unfortunately, we did not leave it as pristine as we could have. What? Why? The dive line, actually. How bad? Uh, there's no cockpit anymore, for starters. God, well, that's just fucking perfect. No one's gonna know it was us. Are they? They're gonna go down there and think, Oh, this must have fallen apart due to these divers. Now we're back with Mr. Sirius. You're getting to know these intrepid adventurers then. Alex and his little brother Brad, trying to swim with the big fish. Both seem out of their depth. And Julia, the love of Alex's life. <sighs> if only she felt the same. What about Conrad? A bold fellow, you might say. Or maybe you'd say arrogant. Mm. And then there's Captain Fliss, strong, Forthright, stubborn. Do I detect a spark between her and Conrad? Maybe. Let me reassure you. You help them to make some decisions they'll value later on. You're doing well. Thank you, strange man in the library. All right. Guys, I am going to leave uh, that one now. I'm really interested in this so, so far. I'm not, not as um, gripped as I was until dawn. Um, but I'm really starting to get to know the characters now. And I can't wait till we find the ghost ship. And shit kicks off. Like, that's, that's going to be awesome. I'm enjoying this. Leave a like if you enjoyed, guys. And I'll see you in the next video. Stay dazzling.